Get in here. Okay. Bring it in. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. I don't know what you're doing out there. What are you doing out there? Uh, I was just, yeah. Because in my mind, uh, soccer's played with a ball. Uh, right? I wasn't trying. I was trying to run towards the goal. You're not getting points by running through the goal post. The ball has to go through. Brendan, I'm going to show you something, all right? Mm -hmm. Maybe this will give you a little incentive. All right. Look at my arm right there. See that? Yeah. I got that when I was 18 years old. Uh, I'll tell you something. Yeah. I regret it. Because this tattoo don't come off. Right. I have a tattoo of a cow's head because I love that cheese then. So I get the cow, I go in there, I'm a little drunk. And I say, give me that cow head from that cheese. I love that cheese. Uh-huh. I have a cow, a cheese cow on my arm, Brendan. Don't get a tattoo. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Play soccer. Brendan, take a look at my chest. I gotta go, Mr. McGurk. No, I'm serious. Look at that. No, that's nice, Mr. You know I really know what that is right there? Back on that's the, the woman from the Chiquita <laughs> Banana. I got that tattooed on my chest. I'm an idiot. I got trademark products all over my body. It's like going to a market because I was drunk one night. Wow. Don't live like me. Right. All right? Now you go out there and play great. Punch low. Always punch low. Okay. That means below the waist. Right. Get them in the legs or in the crotch. <laughs> do stuff like that. Do you think that's uh, dirty fighting? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. But there's nothing wrong with dirty fighting. Really? That's right. Mm -hmm. You know what? Because fighting is wrong. Uh, right? Yeah. So if you're going to fight, you're already wrong. Yeah. So if you're going to dirty, you might as well dirty fight. Yeah. Because you're already there. Yeah. You're already at the party. Right. Right. I was in a fight last week. Really? How'd it go? I won. Really? Yeah. Who'd you fight? That kid, David. The the forward? Yeah. He cannot fight. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got a big mouth, coach. Well, not anymore, he doesn't. Right. Yeah, you know, but mostly fighting, it's, it's a mental game. Really? Brendan, you're a smart kid. Yeah, I know. You're not a tough kid. <sighs> you're not a strong kid. You're not a fighter. Right. But you may have a mental edge over your opponent, and that's what you got to use. Like what? Like, for instance, if I fought somebody, I would say, hey, look. Mm-hmm. The guy will look, and then I will hit him. Right. That's a mental game. I know what you mean. But I don't know. Brendan, you're a smart kid. You improvise. Yeah, that's what you I was know, planning I mean, well, on. Give me, give me something. Uh, let's, uh, let's say I come up to you, right? <clears throat> okay. I give you a little shove, and I say, hey, come on, let's go. Okay. You got to think on your feet here, bro. All right, I got one. All right, what do you got? Go ahead. Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. All right, so in that situation, Brendan, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> what you did there was more <laughs> weird. I tried to just do something strange that you wouldn't expect. Yeah. Why would a guy ride all over the wall like this? <laughs> You'd have to be crazy. A guy like that shouldn't be coaching kids. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, police, there is a guy spray painting vulgar things on the west wall of the elementary school. And it's not me. It's this guy. And this is not good for the kids, because you should see what he's spray painting. Oh. Oh, Drew is involved with the occult. Holy shit. I just called you. Oh, dear. That's, um, it's quick response. What? Oh, no, it's not me. I found the can the guy was using. And I just picked, you know, this is... All right, everybody gather up. Everybody gather in. Gather in? What's a better word for gather in, Brendan? Everybody get together? Well, that's not great. How about everybody, um... Everybody gather in. I thought that's, uh... Everybody come here. All right, everybody come here. That's good. Now gather around. Yeah, that's better. You need both. Right. All right, team, bring it in. Bring it in. All right, team, listen up. Tomorrow is a very special day for, uh, for the team. And I'm going to need volunteers to do a special uh, thing. It's a special event, all right? Coach, what exactly are we volunteering for? I'm going to get to that, Melissa. Is it on the soccer field? What are you, a reporter? I'm just naturally curious. Coach, what are Everybody we... Everybody stop talking. Just what are we volunteering for? Brendan. Yeah? What did I just say? I really don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Because this isn't your house. You can't mouth off to everybody. Hey. All right, now, tomorrow... You volunteering? I don't know, are you? No. Oh, why not? Listen up. I don't know. Oh. You guys want to get in trouble? No. No. You don't want to get in trouble? Yes. No, no Brendan, no. We don't want to get in trouble. The answer is yes. Otherwise, it's a double negative. Anyway, who, who's, who's going to volunteer? That means when I say, who here is going to volunteer, everybody raises their hand. Understood? Who's going to volunteer? Coach McGurk? Yeah. You still haven't told us what we're volunteering for. Okay, listen, I have 14,000 entry forms that need to be filled out by next week and entered into a sweepstakes. What are we trying to win? This. 
toy boat? No, not a toy boat, Brendan. It's a hovercraft. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. That's right. Now, who wants a piece of this thing, huh? Who's going to help me fill out 14,000 entry forms, okay? Coach, I feel like I need to ask my dad if I can do this. No, here's what you don't do, Melissa. Ask your dad. Because you know what your dad will say? What? Why are you filling out forms instead of playing soccer? And then what would I say? And you say, well, that's why you don't say it. That question doesn't come up, all right? We have to do this for the team, Melissa, not for your dad. Well, who here can do this without asking their parents or ever telling them about it? It's Brendan. Yeah. I need your help on this. Yeah. I think you're a lot better off filling out forms than you are playing soccer. Yeah, you, Coach, do you, do you think you might be abusing your power just, you know, a little bit? I don't think of it as power. You know, it's more of a size issue. I'm bigger than them. I do what I want. <clears throat> Take a look at this baby, Brendan. Huh? It's, it's, look at that, sweetheart. It, look, it's, it's a nice... Do you like a ride in that? Yes. No. Yeah. It's a beautiful piece of machinery, Brendan. Hey, you know, I, I, I'd love to help, but I really can't commit to anything right now. It's, well, what do you got to do, Brendan? Um, acting class. I'm, I'm studying acting now because someday I'm going to be <laughs> a professional actor. What? Yeah. Good luck. Coach McGurk, help. Help me. I'm drowning. Oh, hey, Brendan. How are you? Help. I can't swim. Oh, really? I can't hear you because my hovercraft is too loud. See you later. Uh, I like when you do both parts. Go run laps. All right, everybody huddle up. <sighs> that was a great game, all right? A great game. Oh, I'm so proud of you kids. But we didn't even win, Coach McGurk. We tied. Yeah, uh, Coach, isn't a tie like the same thing as kissing your sister? Yeah. Huh. All right, so nice job, team. Congratulations. Thanks. Go home, get some rest. Sorry Coach Ralph didn't show up. Hey, what happened to that guy? Well, let me tell you a little story. Coach Ralph doesn't exist. He was a figment of my imagination. See, Melissa, you owe me 20 bucks now. You're right, a bet's a bet. Sorry, guys. It's sometimes, though, I have to tell stories in order to inspire my team, so I made up a fictitious coach named Ralph. That's 20 bucks, Melissa. Who was you. like a mentor of mine. Let's be honest, I never had a mentor. So maybe Jerry Lee Lewis. But beyond that, no, I don't have any soccer mentors. As a matter of fact, I just started playing the game a year ago. You see, Mr. McGurk, the problem is you scored extremely low on certain parts of your evaluation. Yeah. And the part we're most concerned <clears throat> with today is the one dealing with your anger. In fact, I understand that you ripped up that <clears throat> section of the evaluation and threw it into the reviewer's face. In accordance with school policy, it will be necessary for you to attend anger management therapy. If you refuse, you'll be terminated. Am I clear? Mm-hmm. It's all up to you, Mr. McGurk. Yeah. Are you willing to attend these anger management uh, sessions? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Uh, no. Oh. Damn! Coffee, anybody? Because I'm, I'm, I've got a fresh pot. Okay, Melissa, bring it in. Good job, Melissa. Thanks, Coach. Sorry the ball went off my head into our own goal. Yeah, yeah, I know. I saw that. It's all right. You know, just, just a game. These things happen. Good try, Jeremy. Nice try. It's okay. Way to move up the field, Janine. Very good. Nice shot, Jeremy. It almost... Hey, Coach Hack. What do you teach these kids? How to lose? Because that's all you do. I, uh, I think that, that guy's talking to you, Coach McGurk. Let him talk, Brendan. Let him talk. All right, very good. Keep it going. Don't quit. Yeah, I wish you quit, you bum. Don't you have to know a little bit about soccer in order to coach it? Yes, and he does know a little bit. Melissa, stay out of this. Oh, what, are you going to have the kids fight your battles for you, you wussy? <laughs> I've been watching you all year. You're a bum. A B-E-M bum. I could coach circles around you. Of course, it'd have to be pretty big circles to get around your fat ass. Uh, coach McGurk, you all right? I'm fine, Brendan. I'm fine. Hey, can't you hear me, lard ass? Or are your eardrums filled with fat, too? Clean them out. Hey, aren't you going to yell at him or, or hit him? No, Brendan, I'm not going to do any of those things, all right? Actually, I feel sorry for that guy. Really? Yeah, because he obviously had some deeply troubling issues. Probably had a bad childhood, just like you guys. Way to go, Janine. Way to move down the field. But you're going the wrong way, but that's totally okay. Hey, what are you going to eat between halves, fat? <laughs> How about a fat sandwich on fat bread, you fathead? Brenda, do I look fat to you? McGurk. Oh, Miss Plum, you look great. Sorry we lost, but winning isn't everything. Well, they played a good game. Well, the kids try. That's what I, you know, insist. I, I was talking about the other team. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs>
But you showed me something today, McGurk. Yeah. You controlled your anger. I was impressed. I've decided you can stay on as soccer coach. Wow, wow. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Miss Plum. Thank you uh, very much. You've shown marked improvement in your anger. You're extremely kind. You're probably one of the kindest people I know. Y keep up the good work, McGurk. Yeah. I'll be watching you. That's illegal.